In a bid to shape Nigeria's fiscal future, the Joint Committee on Finance and Budget Planning of the Senate and House of Representatives convened a stakeholders meeting to deliberate on the 2025-2027 medium-term expenditure framework MTEF and fiscal strategy paper FSP. The meeting aimed to align the, na the nation's fiscal policies with its development priorities while addressing economic challenges. Chairman of the Senate Committee on Finance, Senator Sani Musa, representing Niger East Federal Constituency, in his opening remarks, described the MTEF and FSP as essential tools for guiding the nation's budget. He provided key highlights of the proposed framework addressing the fiscal challenges. Senator Musa underscored the need to optimize revenue streams, tackle leakages, and strengthen institutions. It is imperative to address linkages across all revenue generating channels. We must focus on strengthening our institutions, enhancing efficiency, and embracing innovation to ensure that every naira due to the government is collected and accounted for. To draw a parallel, South Africa, for example, recently reported a tax revenue collection of 1.686 trillion rand approximately about $94 billion for the fiscal year ending March 31st, 2024. This fell just slightly below its 1.692 trillion rand target, reflecting discipline, revenue generation, and accountability. For Nigeria to achieve similar or better results, for Nigeria to achieve similar or better results, we must requalify and diversify our revenue streams, adopt innovative revenue models, and enhance the capacity of government-owned enterprises to implement sustainable business strategies. By doing so, we can build a resilient fiscal framework capable of supporting our developmental aspirations. Minister of Finance and Economic Planning, Mr. Adewale Edun, expressed optimism about the administration's economic policies under President Bola Tinubu. He noted that Nigeria's GDP is on the rise. The Minister for National Budget and Planning, Atiku Badu, Badugu, echoed these sentiments, emphasizing that strengthening domestic production could play a critical role in reducing inflation. Nigeria has changed fundamentally. Mm -hmm. They took over very critical economic circumstances as we know. Key decisions had to be taken to reset this economy and the macroeconomic path that was not just sustainable in terms of fiscal spending. In gender, the investment by Nigeria is important, but we also have to be careful of ourselves. The inflation is still high and elevated, and everybody, particularly the poor and the rich, want to take it. And that's why the intervention is being particularly critical there. But let me just say to the review for agenda, the eight priority areas are to strengthen the macroeconomic environment so that it can include all. And a number of measures which have been taken and which have been supported by the National Assembly, we believe the heavy lifting phase has been undertaken. Even the exchange rate is supportive of domestic production because today as an importer may feel the exchange rate is not so favorable, but our exporters are smiling, so we want more domestic production, we want more of our young people supplying talent outside the country and uh, they are supported in doing so by a talent development program so that they can provide services. Uh, domestic production will help lowering of uh, inflation further. And Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.